Welcome to the Player Podcast. This is the 360 Podcast from Dojo 337. I'm Enforcer, and I'm here with a special guest. He goes by the name of Bilal, Pakistan Tech. And what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, hello. How are you, bro? I'm oh. fine. Thank you for asking. How Thank you. Everything? Oh, pretty good, man. Pretty good, man. Uh, you doing good this morning? Yeah. Thank you. I, actually, it's like a nice time. Well, for me, it's for nice. me, it's morning, and for you, it's like the evening. Yeah, I think it's at 6 p.m. <laughs> right, right, man. So, so man, that is, so Bilal, that is that your full name? Do you have a Tekken um, handle, or is that you just go by Bilal? Am I saying it correctly? No, actually, my Tekken name is Bilal because I I tried to uh, go for a nickname, but everybody said that your real name is better because <laughs> it's like five letters and you can pronounce it very easily. Uh, Bilal, Bilal. So I think uh, this is why I didn't go for a nickname. Right, right. I like that, man. I like that. So let me ask you, Bilal, when did you first get started? Um, so you're in Pakistan. Um, you guys have a great community. But when did you first get started, say, in Tekken? When did you get started in Tekken? Uh, um, in Tekken, uh, I was like maybe seven or eight years old. Uh, in Tekken 3, maybe. Okay. And... Uh, I was just a kid. I was just a, like a bottom master. <laughs> I didn't know what I'm doing. Just right. Like, that's it. That's right. It and demo man, you know. <laughs> uh, so after that, I, I after a long time, maybe five years, I, I saw Tekken Five. So I I went to the game. I went to the arcade and tried to play Tekken Five, and it was pretty good. I tried to learn, and everybody helped me. My big brother, my elder brother, he was with me as well. So he taught me Tekken in the start of the team, and then I kept uh, playing, and he left, and uh, I started to getting better. I started getting better, and nice. uh, in Tekken 6, I was learning. I was really learning, and I was able to see my performance at how good I am, how good I am day by day. Right. Every day I was getting good, uh, getting good. So... So you say you started at the age of, so you say you started at the age of seven? Yeah, almost, yeah. That's awesome, man. You know, I can relate to that. You know, uh, Tekken 3 was my favorite, too. Well, it was my, my Tekken to start because wasn't it, a, it was a very attracting game with the martial arts, you know? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, I'll say, you know, so, so Tekken 6, you started becoming more competitive, right? Yeah, Tekken 6. And then Tekken 2 was a successful game for me. Uh, actually, Tekken Tech 2 was very successful for many players of Pakistan, but they were not in the map uh, on the map of the like not internationally. They were not seen by the audience internationally, but um, we were very good in Tekken Tech 2 as well. Right. Okay. Yeah, Tekken Tech 2. You know, man. For me, let me ask you just just on the subject of that. What do you think about Tekken Tech 2? Did you enjoy it? I think. That was the most difficult game until now. Second time is difficult and uh, very difficult to play as well. But second tag two is the uh, something else. Like you have to use like maybe two hundred percent of your mind in second. <laughs> right. You have to change your character, bring the ca- ca- character, when to change the character. You know? And right. uh, that was quite difficult. And if you are not doing it well, you will get punished, and uh, your opponent can not do it. That very, very easy. Yeah, Tekken Tag 2 was a very difficult game. I agree. I agree, man. It was, uh, you know, a lot of people kind of, uh, they say they didn't like it, but I think the reason they didn't like it to them was because it was so difficult. Yeah, you know? I mean, most of the people, they don't know when to change the tag, when to uh, bring your other character when you have less bar. Right, right. Uh, you, have some, you have some players that are just masters of the game, and it looks great, you know? Somebody like JDCR, somebody, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I tell you, so so Tekken, you've been playing Tekken a very long time. Now, do you, I guess I want to ask, so who do you main? Who do you main in Tekken? What character do you choose to be your main character? In Tekken Tag 2, 
I was playing Brian and Devlin as the uh, uh, me was playing the same tag as well. Oh, uh, nice! But I was uh, I was very uh, confident with Pope and Genji. Right. So because Brian was not strong in second back, so not very strong like he, he is right now in second back. Right. So I used to play Bob and Gandhi in official matches, but in casual I was uh, learning Brian and uh, Devlin, and never left that. And in second term, uh, I'm still playing Brian, and I'm still learning the every day the how to play Brian. Brian, man, I. I'm good now. I love I love Brian. You know, we we share some similarities, man. He's uh, Brian's been one of my uh, main characters since Tekken three. Since Tekken three, like I've always played him. You know, um, what is it about Brian you like? Is it, is it his character design? Is it his moves? His movement? The difficulty of playing him? What attracts you okay, to Brian? Let, uh, let me tell you how I started liking Brian. In Tekken six, uh, I I saw no, I see Tekken five. You know. He had a blasted combo, one, two, three, and then one to one, and then snake head. Oh, uh, un unblockable! It will get back the combo, you know. So right. I've been used, uh, watching those combos, and I was like, this character <laughs> is pretty sick. And then I left. <laughs> and in Tekken Six, I saw many people were doing standard upper, including me, and some players uh, from, I mean, Pakistan as well. They were doing standard upper, and I thought, how can the character launch? Even just you are you're just blocking. Right. So, so I, I thought maybe I will try, and I tried to learn front and upper, and right. uh, I kept playing. I tried hard, but I couldn't do it in the start of the practice. <laughs> I couldn't launch a front and upper. It took me a long time uh, to practice front and upper, and uh, by doing that practice, I learned one. And uh, <laughs> now. I really like uh, him because uh, um, his focusing and strong jumper are amazing. And right. Then, of course, his style as well. Right. It's very difficult to do strong jumper cut, man. It's uh, yeah. It it really separates the Brian masters from the Brian elite. You know, when you're an elite Brian player, I would say you're an elite Brian player. Uh, like somebody like Mr. Naps, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, you could do Tom Jet uppercut, and and that's a that's a very vital move. You don't, I don't think you have to have that move to win with Brian, but it adds yeah, so much to his game. Important. Right. Yeah, that 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 move is not very very important, but if you know how to do that, and if you can do that, it will be a big advantage for you. Right. When you have like maybe ten percent bar, and your opponent is having like half of his bar, and you can. Kill him. <laughs> Very true. Very true, man. Very true. Um, so you know, you've been in the Pakistan. Who do you, who do you who do you how do you guys train? You know, how do you train? How do you how do you get good uh, in the Pakistan community? What do you guys do to get so good? In Tekken Seven, uh, in the start of Tekken Seven, when we were not even on the international team. Uh, we were just playing the arcade. We were going to arcade. We were competing and uh, we were playing tournaments, local tournaments. So we were basically fighting only with each other. And then uh, I, I went to OUG Dubai in 2017 and I played against me. So everybody gets to know that we can do this. I mean, we should go to international tournaments and we should take with. So everybody started to team with by going to uh, tournaments. So right. our team, our mind changed that now we don't have to practice uh, only to beat each other. We should play uh, for international tournaments as well. Right. And then we, you know, me and Arslan and Faisan uh, were used to be partners mm -hmm. in the past. Uh, so we were playing like maybe, uh, we had a small shop. We had a small shop. Uh, it was like maybe we, we took it on rent and... Uh, we were playing there like maybe eight or ten hours a day, and uh, then we competed in Tekken World Tour. And uh, I won LCQ, was non won in Big Evo, and uh, even there, uh, Alaysani used to come there as well. Many players were used to come there, and they were practicing with us, and we were practicing with them. So it was like this is how we started, and now we have our own streaming room. And wow. uh, Atlan has his own streaming room. I have my own streaming room, and I have. Another swimming room, uh, which is given to me and uh, to my uh, to their players uh, by Avoda Gaming. Maybe you know about them. Right, so, right. I have heard of them. There. 
yeah people used to come there and we do practice there and uh, we are trying to get better and we are ready to be in pwd 2021 Man, I, I tell you, and you know, I, I have to say, I was one of those people that when I saw Pakistan get on the scene, you know, when Arsene Ash, you know, he did his thing versus knee. That was unbelievable, man. It was unbelievable. The first time, the first time it was unbelievable. But the second time it was believable because uh, he proved himself. He proved himself, you know. I agree. I agree with that. I'm sure you guys were very proud and you were like, man. He beat the best player in the world. <laughs> that, definitely, bro. That was uh, like exciting. Uh, we were very excited, and uh, that was like a proud moment for us, right? For the Pakistani players, and uh, of course, like many people used to say that uh, uh, Koreans and Japanese are god of Tekken. God of Tekken, very. Yeah, no one, no one could beat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what they would say. You're right. It's not like nobody can beat them. So we used to hear those from our supporters. Then, but when we started beating them, now the supporters <laughs> of uh, Koreans and Japanese are actually our supporters too. So right, uh, it gives us courage to beat them. Right, a lot of confidence, yeah. right? Yeah. Very, very confident in uh, in winning against the Korean players. And, and you guys, your style is so different. You, you guys. I find that the difference with the Korean versus the Pakistani style is the P- Pakistan will take more risk. They'll, they'll make more. They'll make more. Ri- they'll take more risk, but make more right guesses. They'll they'll make yeah. more correct reads. You know, um, Korea is a lot more reserved, and they play sometimes too safe. I think, and you guys aren't afraid to go in and, and take that risk and making a read. You know. Yeah. Actually, I think so. We you we we play uh, mind games a lot. We play mind games a lot. Right. So you can see that Arsene versus me because all mind games. Right. Have, uh, I think that was mind game. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, my match versus Rayke. I I lost three zero in the grand final of LCQ. LCQ. I, I thought, yeah. Then I thought I I should play the same as I used to. So I played. Some mind game, and uh, <laughs> I won. <laughs> right. I mean, uh, all all the players from Pakistan, they are uh, very good with mind game. I think. Very good, and and Tekken allows you to do that. You know, Tekken allows you to play mind games because so many moves can be faked, or you can do one move with faster frames and then do another move or back dash. It gives you a lot yeah. to to have control over, and you guys are very yeah. good at being creative with that. You know, and that's something you know a lot of players are trying to learn. How you know that? And I, I guess that comes from playing a lot. You know, you guys play a lot of Tekken, and, and I guess that brings me to. So at the LCQ, it kind of brings yeah. me to think about that. You played against AK, man, and congratulations on that. I know it was last year, but you did amazing. Uh, Thank you, Tom. No problem. And uh, you know, what was going through your mind playing against AK? Were you intimidated? Were you confident? Um, did you believe you would make it past the LCQ, or did it seem tough? Okay, uh, I'll tell you a bit from start as well. When I was uh, leaving for LCQ, uh, I never thought that I will win. I had in my mind that I will not be even in top 64, maybe. Mm-hmm. So I was not confident. Maybe you know that me was in Pakistan and I was hosting him mm-hmm. uh, before LCQ finals. And mm-hmm. uh, when he went back to Korea after two days or maybe. After one day, it was LCQ Grand Final, LCQ right. and Grand Final. So mm-hmm. I couldn't catch it. So this is why I was not confident. But uh, you know, sometimes experience gives you wins. Mm-hmm. So this is what happened in LCQ. I, I was just playing with, uh, with my experience, and I uh, think you know I missed many new combos. I I missed many new punishes. Like you know, uh, right. Brian just got uh, the new wife and punish, thirteen and punish. I was trying mm-hmm. to. You say punish on several places, but I couldn't uh, right. execute the move. Uh, well, you picked because I learned that. Right, you picked Takuma originally versus him. Yeah. What in, was the What was the uh, idea the behind pool. that? In the pools, I, I take Takuma, but in grand finals, I first thought that I did. I already beat him with Takuma, so let's try Takuma again. <laughs> but he beat me very very badly <laughs> in the first match, and then I thought, no man, this is not the time. To play a two more games, right. I was not in momentum at that time, so I thought let's play my main character. 
and let's learn it from my main character it will be better uh, to get uh, fame or get support from people because if i was if i was playing the puma nobody was supporting me alone not like if i was playing brian absolutely so i thought uh, brian would be a good pick if i really want to make my name here yeah nobody root <laughs> nobody root for akuma you know they people uh, exactly. people don't like akuma you know that that definitely true you know what happened with me so suppose if i'm playing right now and i'm playing akuma people and i'm playing brian <laughs> uh, people will come and watch me. And people love Brian. If I start playing Akuma, they will start late going. They will <laughs> start leaving. They will start going back. They don't like Akuma, man. Bastards. I have, uh, <laughs> but Akuma's cool. I, I like, you know, people people don't believe Akuma has a place in the game, but I think he really mixed things up. You know, he really, as far as the game, he is, he was the most powerful character. And I think he still is very close to the top, you know, and we're going to get to that too, but, yeah, yeah. um, you know, I think people didn't like that, but he was exciting. He's a very exciting character, and he changed the way you play Tekken. Yeah, I think I think uh, Akuma is overpowered, and he's still, in my tier list, he's still on number one. Right. Uh, and, uh, I, I would see him as number one or two. Uh, number one and number two? Yeah, I, w I, w I would agree with you on that. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, so, you know, I look at the tier list, and I'm, I'm thinking, man, Akuma, when he gets going, it's hard to stop him. He can kill you, know, you very he can quickly. Launch you. He can even launch you on 10 frame punish with his gap and the DP uh, right. cancel. You know, he can give you uh, combos on every frame, 10 frame, 11 frame, 12 frame, 13 frame. No it's, matter, no matter which one. <laughs> Especially if he has two meters. If he has two meters, you're probably going to yeah. die. Of course. It's like a death combo. And it's like the player is doing that combo tutorial <laughs> right. so maybe it's a combo video when you have two bars and there is one it can beat you right man especially that what is that one one counter hit one one yeah. one counter hit into combo it's like what in the, what were they thinking and if you give him a win he can give you neutral two and fireball and if you do a high move he can do down two and fireball and if you are trying to interrupt with big counter hit moves like if I I cannot if I'm playing Brian and you are playing Akuma and you are good so I cannot go in front of you and uh, I cannot do what is like a back three so for kick easily. I will have to think like maybe a thousand times before doing that because you have one one counter, you have down two, you have many other tools. It's too you slow. Know, you can jump as well. You can jump as well. So it's like very risky to play against Akuma. Very risky. Especially a very yeah. sharp Akuma, right? A very good one. It's, exactly. It's hard. Oh, well, honey is there. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's so strong. Right? Oh, honey, man. He, he's, man, when I saw him, I was like, look at this guy, bro. Him and Atif, you know, they, uh, I mean, all you guys play Akuma, right? Everybody has a pocket Akuma in Pakistan, looks like. Uh, not everybody. But, uh, <laughs> uh, some of them play Akuma. Arslan tried to play Akuma, he couldn't play. Uh, uh, Avatami was the best Akuma and he still is the best Akuma. Atif played then uh, Akuma, I played Akuma, Hira played Akuma. I think these are the only players who play Akuma on high level second. Oh, I see. Second. That can execute. So that can execute know? with him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me ask so you. So, think, yeah. no, go ahead. Um, what were we going to say? I'm sorry. No, nah, it was just, I mean, I was going to say one more sentence about Akuma. Uh -huh. I think Akuma based the rules of second. And uh, whoever says the Kuma is nerfed now, I think he needs to be more nerfed. Like suppose if you give Ooh. him fireball and the back one, which is 14 frame move after fireball cancel, it should not be hitting. It should not be confirmed. Oh. Uh, I think 13 frame would be enough. One DP or down for one two will be enough. I think they should nerf him. So right, right. Very strong. Yeah. Man, He's so it's... getting the rules of <laughs> Right, so so speaking on that, you know, we're looking at these characters. Akuma being number one, we're going I'm actually asking you your top five. Uh, but let me ask you. So you guys, you you guys banned Fakaram. Was that an agree? Was that an agreement that you came to? Was that something you agreed with when, you know, Arslan uh, Arslan Ash confirmed Fakaram banned in Pakistan? Was that something everybody agreed to? Yeah, actually, uh, I was supposed to. Actually, no, I I was going to arrange a tournament. Bilal Jaipur on mm -hmm. my name. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, before uh, deciding things, I thought I should ask everybody. I, I, I should ask all the players because I myself, am, uh, as a player, know that uh, uh, what I want. And uh, so I thought, let's ask everybody what they want. 
And the Pakum Rama at that time was very, very OP, and we were not even in a good practice against them. Um, even now, we are not in good practice, but uh, still, uh, his, uh, I mean, nerve than before. So I asked everybody that, what should we do? What should be the scenario of the tournament? And then we talked about Pakum Rama as well. Everybody was saying then uh, that uh, Pokemon should be banned, and uh, everybody bought it like 20 people, 20 players of, uh, in the top. Uh, you know, my uh, scenario of uh, my tournament was first it was going to be LCQ, and then there was going to be finals like same like TWT rules. There were 10, 20 players, and right. like, all the 20 players uh, they, uh, gave their own opinion. Some of them said that it's okay, but oh. most of them said that Pokemon should be banned. So this is banned. why uh, I actually we banned uh, Pokemon together. Oh, I see, and man. And we unbanned as well. And now <laughs> you can see that uh, we are beating him. <laughs> right. And let me, you know, I'm going to get to that. Let me ask you this. So when you banned him, what, did you guys ban him because of his hurt, his hurt box was kind of wonky? Or did you ban him because... He was too powerful, or was it a combination of both? Both of those things. Yeah, I think I think uh, there are a couple of things. Like first thing is his damage. Mm -hmm. His wall carry is very easy. He's not like Akuma. If Akuma does the combo with even with two meters, you have to do you have to do a lot of things. You have to execute very difficult things like two fireball and then that one. If it is, if it's not take, you will get one. Exactly. But Akuma, if, very easy. Very easy. Pokemon is easy to do combos. And then if you if he's in the rage and you are in the hole, uh so he can do three one and then rage drive will almost kill you. And he your your character after getting rage drive uh, uh will be laying down on another I mean direction. And right. uh Pokemon is still in plus. He can still do the move he wants to. Right. So there were other things as well. His hurt was, of course, the main thing that if, if I cannot do combos on uh, Pokemon in, in that time. I was not able to do grind combos, was, were not working. And there were other things like uh, his hurt box. Whenever you think that this hit is going to be confirmed on Pokemon and it will not hit, hit him, oh man, it was giving <laughs> you like. <laughs> right. And, 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 that's, and that's what I'm saying. So at a tournament, that would be bad, right? If you said, oh, I have the read, he's not going to block his legs. And you do a low, yeah, hit, a low hit, like with Brian, you do down back three, and he back dash, yeah. but you should have hit him to win, and he goes right through him. Yeah, and he's the size step one. So yeah. I, I think that was a buggy character before, but now he's better. He's better. But still, I think his moves are pretty fast. Like, you know, if he does back one, mm -hmm. if he use back one, it's minus 14. But the move is very, very fast, or his animation is very fast, or something else, then yeah. you cannot punish him faster. Like if I'm playing Brian and Pokemon does that one, I cannot actually punish him with that upper. It's, it's very difficult. And you I know, know I, I struggled. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Uh, man, it's amazing you said that. I'm happy. And y'all heard it from this man right here. Bala, it's very difficult to punish back one. It, the move executes so yeah. quickly. And I thought maybe I had a problem. You know, I'm not even half the player you are. Now, I wanted to punish it with Jet Upper. And I frustrate yeah. myself because I'm like, I should be able to punish it. But it's so yeah. fast, you know? It's so yeah, fast. It's so fast. It seems like it's uh, only minus 12. Uh, and it's actually minus 14. And right. Most of the players, they cannot punish it very well. Right. I'm happy you said that. So that brings me to this, man. So you say Akuma is number one in the game, right? Yeah. Who? Give me your top five characters. I think Akuma is number one. And... Uh, I have a tier list for that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, one second. One take, second. take your time. Take Let your time. That's interesting, man. I, you know, I always want to hear from good players what their tier list is. Because, uh, uh, it, uh I, mean, <laughs> yeah, I just need to be second panel. Right. So, second roster so I can actually, uh, okay. Yeah, I have. Sorry, I didn't questions. understand. <laughs> so I think Akuma is number one. Okay, Akuma. And uh, one second. Oh, no problem. 
and I think uh, um, uh, and maybe then Pakuna. Pakuna. That's number two. Yeah, yeah, Pakuna is number two, of course. And uh, then comes Leroy. Leroy. Number three. Still very strong. I think Leroy is the proper character now. He was like a kind of foul character before. He was OP. Now he has. Yeah, he's still <laughs> OP, man. Still not anymore. Not anymore. Strong. I think uh, uh, his jumper one is very strong, uh, and he has proper all the tools. His assist tracks you wherever you go. He can mm -hmm. actually side step or side walk in, and um, he has some. I mean, that one's a tool. It's so strong. His skill so strong. If he if he, if he gets if he, it will be this, you can punch him, but not every player can punish him. Like if right. I'm playing Brian and my opponent will do back on touch too. And luckily, if I <laughs> uh, get a whiff, I can punish him with power four one. Right. It's good for me. Right. It's not for every character, you know. Right. Uh, so good, I good so, panic uh, moves. A very good panic moves. Yeah, exactly. And it is same like Akuma as well. You know, the thing I said to you already that I cannot go. Uh, closer to Akuma and do my moves all the time, you know, mm -hmm. without any fear. It's same with the Leroy as well. He can give you a back on the two, even in the and parry, games, you know. His parry. Yeah, yeah, of course. And parry is, <laughs> parry is the biggest fall of the second. I mean, he can parry anything, anything. <laughs> anything. He was, uh, was good before, but then people uh, started learning him, and he's not like he was before. Mm -hmm. But Leo is still is uh, OP because uh, his guy is amazing and he takes good damage after that. Very good damage. Good Okizimi too. Yeah, yeah of course. And uh, so these these are my top three for now. So that's top and, three. Uh, you only you only have two more, Bilal. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you just have two more to place in there. This is gonna be very important. Who do you think is the the number four and number five? I think um, Steve. Steve? Yeah. Steve is number four. Very good. Very good character. And then on fifth base. It can be one second. Go ahead. <laughs> I saw it here, so I will go there and I will actually try to. Okay, I have the playlist in front of me. So okay. I, I would say uh, Akuma is on number one. Uh -huh. Akuma is number two. Third is Leroy. Fourth is Steve. And fifth is. I think Zafina. Zafina. Yeah. What makes what makes her what makes her so strong? Her back dash. Yeah, back dash, and you know, her uh, her animation is also same like fucking around sometimes. She can avoid many moves. Like if you are fifty percent sure mm -hmm. uh, that it your hit will come hit him, and uh, it, it doesn't work on her sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work. She'll and crush. She has some weird kind of stances as well, you know. Right. So it, and she has even a launcher in the tank as well. She, she has a proper game in tank, not like Steve. If Steve does uh, stance uh, game, he, he's very unsafe. He's easy to beat, easy, easy to interrupt. But the Fina, she is difficult. She is difficult to beat in tank. She has many tools. Every uh, low to all of her gives her a combo. Like if she's uh, in a stance, she do if she does down three one, it gives her a combo. Yes. If she does two, you can do, she gets a combo from right. somewhere. If she does if, if you're trying to interrupt, she can do a uh, crusher with one touch two. Right. And um, if you try to parry the low move, it, she will give you down cover two, even in the stance and she can get a combo easily. And get a combo. That is very strong, I think so. It's, so if all I, those all I those things a, all those things make her very strong. I, I as a brand here, 
I cannot use C plus four main move of Brian a lot like I do uh, against other characters because her backdash is very strong. She can do backdash on C plus four, oh. and uh, down for one is very strong. Her wall slash are very good. The only thing I think which is not good in uh, the Tuna is uh, her goal carry is not very good. Right. Uh, but other other than that, she is very strong. Okay, so that's, that's a good top five. Because I want nerve. I don't want nerve. I'm just telling that this, this, this is my tier list for season three. And absolutely, know. absolutely. I mean, if anybody could get nerfed, I think Fakaran might get some more nerfs. And everybody was saying that he's nerfed, but I, I think that his tier is very strong. Very I strong. There are two main characters, uh, Fakuma and Akuma, they should be nerfed. Right. More, I think they took more nice. They still have some cheap, cheap moves. Of course, of course. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah. I, I'll say this, man. You know, looking at that top five, I think that's a pretty reasonable top five. Now, you play Paul and you play Brian, right? Yeah. So, where would you put? Where would you put Paul in that tier list? Paul, for me, comes uh, right after Zafina. Right after Zafina. Oh, that's pretty good. He's pretty I close. Mean, and then Brian, where do you put Brian? Brian's a little lower than that, huh? Yeah, Brian is, I think, in top 15 or top... Yeah, top 15, not 13. I agree. I agree with that. You know, uh, I definitely agree with that, man. It's... Uh, now, let me ask you, man. You, you've been playing in the Pakistani community for a long time, you know, your whole time of playing Tekken. Do you have any rivals? Do you have anybody you play against that you guys are training partners yeah, but rivals? I Rivals in Pakistan? Yeah, you have any? You have any rivals? You have a rival? Uh, not really. I am <laughs> actually a good friend of everybody. You so train with everybody. I, I'm, yeah, I mean, I don't have any rivals. Everybody uh, uh, with me is good. We respect each other. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there are no rivals for me. Good, very uh, good. Maybe, maybe being that too, they were rivals because we were playing. Uh, only on Pakistan level, we were not going internationally, but now when we know there is much better team than fighting with each other, mm -hmm. so we, I don't have any rivals. I like that, man. That's a very great message. So you're saying you you consider everybody a training partner? Yeah, of course. We, yeah, we, we are. Y'all have fun with the game, right? Of course. But if you, if you ask me internationally, I don't have any rivals even in, on international level as well. But... Uh, uh, I think I want to play with American players. This is not a rivalry, of course. Oh, no, so definitely. No, definitely not. Who do, who do you want to fight? Who do you want to play against in America? What player What player would you like to play? What are the top three players you would like to play against in America? In America. <laughs> I have them already in my mind. I think my favorite player from America is uh, Anakin. Anakin. Anakin is my favorite player. He's and very poised. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've hung out with Anakin. Yes. Um, he's very poised. I've went to final rounds and talked with Anakin, and, you know, he's a very good player. Yeah, I think he confused, he, he would confuse you in the game style. He plays mind games, too. He does. He's so aggressive as well, and this is what I think uh, I like in him. And uh, Jimmy Jacan, I like him because he plays Brian, and uh, <laughs> I learned many things from them, uh, including me and Jimmy Jacan. So... Uh, and this is uh, the main reason I want to come, uh, I want to play with him is that we both play the same character. So right. Amir match would be a good for learning stuff. For learning, yes, yeah, sir. So, so, and the third player for me is I think Shadow. Shadow, nice. Yeah. What do you like about Shadow uh, style? He's so he's so calm when he plays. He's very calm. I, yeah, this is what I like in him. You know, <laughs> even if he's been playing in tournament, if he's competing, no matter if he's losing or he's under pressure, he, there won't be any, like... Any emotions? Attitude and, yeah, there won't be any emotions on his face. He's like... <laughs> like a... <laughs> he's like this in the start of the match. He's even he's <laughs> same like that when he's losing or winning. It's like yeah. a poker face, so man. I really like him. Uh, people like uh, uh, people used to say him uh, robot. Right. <laughs> he looks like robot. Right, he's right. Very calm. He's very calm. And his game style is on another level. It's Claudio. He, he actually put the put Claudio on, on the map. That Claudio oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. The so first I time really we like 
when he beat Saint, I believe that's when he really was being shown. Remember when he beat Saint about five years ago, four years ago or so? He beat him with Claudio. Yeah. He beat his Jack. And at that time, Saint was at the top of the pole with Jack, you know? Yeah, yeah of course, Jack was one of the uh, <laughs> strongest characters at that time. At that but time, yes. Eager with the Jack, of course. Right, right? man, so, right. That was a, that yeah, was a great moment. I, 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 so I think, yeah, this is what made the Shadow my third favorite player. Right, so, right. I That's whenever I will come to US, I will definitely would like to play all of them. Dude, we but can't I'm wait. Let, you know, I'm here. I'm actually, you know, the TWT was canceled. The uh, TWT finals was canceled because of, you know, yeah. uh, the COVID in the world, right? But, you know, I'm actually, I actually live where they were going to have it. I actually live where TWT finals was going to be in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I'm in, I'm in Louisiana, oh. so... Yeah. Uh, Namco was going to have it in New Orleans, Louisiana. So you, if you would have came to it, man, we could have hung out. <laughs> uh, man, I'm so sad. I'm so sad that it um it got canceled. I hope they bring it back. You know. I hope they they will bring it back. But uh, you know that some uh, for many players of uh, Pakistani tech community, it is very hard to get visa for US. Right, right. very hard. So suppose if it is uh, a game in uh, US, I think there should be a procedure. Mm -hmm. To get a visa easier. Uh, uh, that should make it easier. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Namco should help us in that. Maybe something should be happen for Pakistan players as well, so that we can go and play uh, tournaments like Combo Baker, CEO. Oh yes. Other, uh, other tournaments like Evo, you know. Oh when yes. Evo match at which nineteen. There was only a son from Pakistan. Oh know, man. He was only one. Well, man, you know. So he wanted to go. Right. I tell you, man, you know, the only tournament they had in the U.S. actually live was KIT, uh, yeah, Kumite yeah. in Tennessee. And I, I got to play your brother, man. I played Arslan Ash. Uh, <laughs> oh. Man, that guy is amazing. Uh, and, you know, that's the only tournament they had. I was so amazed that he came to that, you know. And uh, yeah. I got to play him, bro. He, he is he is top notch, man. I mean, I couldn't really hang with him. I, I got a couple of rounds. We did a – I picked Brian on him. Oh, man. <laughs> it was rough. He, uh, I forgot who he had. I think he picked the Bears, or it was the Bears. I think that was rough, man. He was, was so that patient. In the tournament? No, 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 no. Not the tournament. We were doing exhibition. Oh, okay, okay. Then it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's from against Brian. He used to play with me a lot. So mm -hmm. you know Brian very well. Oh yeah, I got I got a couple of rounds, but he's too tough, man. I couldn't win. I couldn't. I couldn't finish the job. You know. I'm gonna get you to finish it. <laughs> I'm gonna get some tips. Me and you. Look, after we're done with the show, me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some tips from you at some point uh, this week or next week or something. Sure, get some tips, sure, yeah. No but uh, man, you know, so that was one of the last tournaments they had, and I'm hoping we get more tournaments because you guys are still flourishing with tournaments in Pakistan. I think that's amazing. You know, are y'all yeah. doing tournaments live? Are y'all doing it live or on the internet? On the, are they live? Uh, most of the tournaments, we we uh, we do training about uh, for them. But, okay. Uh, I think all all the tournaments are being streamed on the channel. Okay. So, okay. That's awesome. So they so, so you guys are in the same place in the same room when y'all do the tournament. No, uh, tournaments are happening in different places. Like uh, there are like four major places right now in, in Lahore in my city. Okay, One Lahore. Is, uh, a clown room. Second is my swimming room, uh, which is given to me and the players from uh, Award Again India. Mm -hmm. uh, the third is the uh, Manny Swimming Hub, you definitely know about that. That's Manic awesome. Hub. And the fourth is for now EPA. EPA is the uh, Esports Pakistan Arena. And oh, they beautiful. are very helping and supporting uh, Pakistan community by arranging tournaments every day. So, so this is going to be interesting. This will be like one of the final questions I have for you, man. So you, you've been yeah. in Pakistan. I, I, I love your play style. I watched you win. I was happy you picked Brian and won the LCQ. Mm -hmm. In Pakistan right now, who would you say is the, the three strongest players in Pakistan right now? Even if you have to put yourself in there, that's fine. <laughs> but who do you think is the three? Who do you think are the three strong players? Who's the guys you really look up to and say, ah, you know, I love fighting them. They're great. It doesn't have to be in order, though. You don't have to put it in order. You can just say the, the three, the three top players. Okay. So for me, I always like to play against Arslan. Arslan. And, uh, in my mind, right now, it's ART. 
ARC. You know what he liked up there? Yeah, yeah, I heard of ARC, yes. I really like him. He's very it's really good. Maybe, uh, I have a personal opinion about that. Maybe he is a good with Eliza, but not as a character, but I haven't seen him uh, playing other characters a lot. Mm -hmm. So, but still, still, I like his game style. Very good so, gameplay. Yeah, yeah. So, in uh, ARC and third is. Mm, I think. Uh, <laughs> myself. <laughs> Who? I think myself. I, I, oh, okay. Um, hey, that's man. That, I like I, I, yeah, no, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> dude, I love I love watching you play. Dude, I watch your Paul, your Brian. Uh, I would actually put you in my top three for sure. You know, um, Arslan, I put you, Arslan, and I love watching uh, Hera. You know, Hera, I like watching him too. Hera is, Hera is amazing, bro. He's, woo, I like him. I mean, there's so many players that I really like them all because you guys all have your own style, you know, and you make the game fresh again. You guys, actually, when you guys started playing Tekken, when you, well, you always played, but when you got exposed, you guys made Tekken yeah. 7 fresh again. So now you have yeah. people coming for you. You know, you have people after you. I mean, I know Nee has vi visited the country several times. Um, yeah. You know, uh, Chikorin has visited. You know, and they love to yeah. do the first to tens. Now, let me ask you, why do you guys do first to tens and first to twenties? Is that to give you something to work toward? Or is does that help your gameplay? I think yeah, it has us a lot, and uh, in F210, it's difficult, but uh, it's better to play F10, uh, not F20. <laughs> because F20, you're more relaxed and calm. Yeah, you know that you have, you still have like maybe 15 matches left, 10 matches left, but in F10, you know that you have to win or lose in 10 matches. So it's kind of difficult, and it's. Uh, Gives you it, it. It actually helps you to control your nerves in ten matches. Uh, oh. We even used to have like up to five as well sometimes, but not uh, every time. But I uh. think five is very sure. I think up ten is the best uh, thing, uh, best uh, thing to practice. Second, mm -hmm. control your nerves, and uh, you have to do whatever you have uh, been practicing for in that up ten. So I think yeah, up ten is helping us. Hello. Oh, perfect, man. That's great advice. Now, Bilal, you man, I've I've loved this interview, man. I, I just got to ask you one more question. What what sure. kind of um what would you tell someone that's learning Tekken, that's getting into Tekken? How would you tell them to approach the game? What, what to have fun with it? What would you say? How how do you think they should enjoy the game? How would they get better? I think it's so. I suppose the player is already uh, uh, playing the game. Uh, I would like to see his game style first. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, if I want to give him opinion, I would like to see his game style first. And I would say, uh, like suppose there is a guy, Kanvi, uh, in Pakistan, in Lahore. Uh, he is actually beating a lot of players mm -hmm. uh, with Claudio. Maybe you know that. Uh -huh. So uh, I think if he's, he, he will play other character like uh, Shaheen or maybe the character with, uh, who have uh, down forward one. Mm -hmm. I think don't, characters with down for one are very strong uh, in Tekken. And right. they actually taught, uh, they actually can teach you the real Tekken and how to play on frames and everything. So I think uh, whenever someone asks me that, hey, uh, Bilal, um, I, my character, I, I'm playing, uh, like, suppose I'm playing uh, Alisa and I'm not good with Alisa, I will suggest him to play Shaheen, I will suggest him to play. Jim Kazama, of course. Mm -hmm. These are my top, uh, top uh, uh, beginner characters for other fundamentals, characters. fundamental characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Kazama, uh, Shaheen, and Geese and Leader. I think these uh, four characters are very, very best uh, options to learn Tekken. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, man. That's. So, Y'all heard it from the man, bro. The man, the myth, Bilal, man, dude. I, it was a pleasure to have you on the show, and you are my first episode. I have many other episodes coming. I showed you my sister, uh, or should I say, my brother station, which is a uh, shout out to Max Me Out Podcast. Uh, they've done a lot of interviews. You'll see me on those with uh, Rip and 
you know, Tasty Steve and all these guys. But um, we're going to get more, man. I'm hoping we can interview again, talk more about the, the strategy and the mindset of Tekken. And, uh, dude, yeah. I appreciate having you, man. Uh, give, give give a shout-out to your your Twitch, man. What's your Twitch and what's your YouTube? Uh, my Twitch is – should I send you the link, maybe? Uh, we can send a link. What I'll do is I'll post it up on the uh, when I when I print it out. Okay, send, okay, send it to me and I'll, I'll do that. And I'm enforcer, man. We got Bilal. Uh, we had a great interview, man. And uh, we're gonna close it out. But I appreciate you coming on the show, man. And I hope to talk to you again. Hey, hey if you can talk to Asalan, mm -hmm. man, tell him I want to get that interview with him. He he was supposed yeah, to get sure. back. He's supposed to get back with me uh, <laughs> about a month ago. But uh, tell them, hey, look, I would love to have you guys on the show. Arsalan, man, anybody that's, you know, I know English can be a barrier, but if you know some people that want to put this stuff out there, just send me a text or something, okay? Sure, man. I will let him know, and he will definitely be happy to for an interview with you. Thank and, you. Uh, it was a nice time I spent with you, and uh, that was a nice interview. Thank you so much for having Thank me on the year show. Thank you, Bilal, man. Uh, I'm signing out. You have a wonderful uh, day, okay? I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my day, and, bro, I had fun. Talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>